Hey guys, it's Frank from Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at running some really cool old school DOS games on our Android device using an app called DOSBox Turbo. The first step in this process is to download a compatible DOSBox video game onto our Android device's SD card. A good place to find such games is a site called GOG or goodoldgames.com. Once we have the game put on our SD card, we want to download two apps. We want to download DOSBox Turbo and DOSBox Manager. DOSBox Turbo is a paid app, whereas DOSBox Manager is a free companion app that helps us to create and edit our DOSBox games profiles. So once we have both of those installed on our device, let's open up DOSBox Manager. Here in DOSBox Manager, we see that it has a default game profile. What we want to do is we want to long press that and go to Copy Profile. Here we prompted to put in a name. Uh, in this particular case, I am installing a game called Master of Orion 2. So I will type in MOO2 and hit Copy. Now we have a new profile for our game created. And we're going to long press it and we're going to hit Edit Config. Now here we're presented with a very wide array of options that we can configure and of course uh, on a game by game basis there will be different, uh, different configurations that we're going to want to set that make sense for that particular game and even for our device. Uh, so I'm going to go over just a few of the most basic settings that are things we're going to probably wind up modifying on, on every new game profile that we create. So first step is to go into DOSBox settings. And we're going to scroll down until we see auto exec. And there it says edit the auto exec.bat. We may remember this from our old school uh, DOS and early Windows days. The auto exec.bat is a batch file that's going to run uh, when we start up this profile automatically. So we see that uh, DOSBox Turbo has automatically put in two commands. Uh, we have a mount command, which actually is going to automatically mount our SD card. In this case, it's chosen to automatically mount the download folder on our SD card. And then we just see C colon, which is just going to switch us to that newly mounted C drive, which is our SD card. So we have to add two commands here to make this run smoothly. The first one is going to be CD which stands for change directory and then we're going to type in the directory that our game is stored in. So in this particular case it's CD Orion 2. Then on the next line we are going to type in the exe file that's found within that directory that we have just changed into that we want to run. This is basically the the game itself, the exe file that we want it to run. So in my particular example it is Orion 2 dot exe. So there we see we're mounting the SD card that was done automatically for us. We're switching over into our games directory and we're running our games executable file. Okay. So now that, that is saved, we're going to scroll back up to the top of our DOSBox settings and we're going to go to memory size. This almost always needs to be changed, I found in my experience. Uh, because the default that it sets there is 8 megabytes, and that is almost always too small for, for most games. Uh, in this particular situation, with uh, running Masters of Orion, a relatively large game, I like to, uh, to put it up to 256 megabytes, the maximum amount of memory that uh, can be allotted to it. On my phone, I don't seem to... I don't, I don't find that this slows anything down or uh, prevents me from multitasking, and the game runs very smoothly. All right, so now we can back out of DOSBox settings. And the next thing we're going to change is our input preferences. Now we see here select input mode, and these are the different types of modes that are available. Um, basically a touch screen mouse, a physical mouse, a physical joystick, or a scroll screen. We can also do a virtual uh, joystick as we'll see below. But for this particular game, touch screen mouse is fine, uh, but what we do want to change is mouse tracking. Um, and we have these two options, absolute and experimental or absolute and relative, rather. Uh, the absolute is an experimental mode. Relative makes uh, the touch screen of our phone or device uh, act like a trackpad on a laptop, whereas absolute, wherever we touch on the screen, is the absolute spot where the mouse is going to click. Um, so it acts more like a large touch screen. So in this particular case, since uh, Masters of Orion is a uh, turn-based game where we're going to be selecting planets and pushing a lot of buttons, um, absolute tracking makes the most sense. 
Scrolling down a little further, we see our screen and rotation settings. We want to make sure that screen scaling is checked. That way our, uh, our game will display properly for our screen size. And in my particular case, I like to turn on this GPU rendering, which as it says there, offloads your graphics rendering to the GPU. Um, of course, depending on your phone's hardware, this may or may not uh, improve the playability of your game. Uh, once these things are done, we can back out and we'll see our newly created profile. If we click it, it's now going to load up DOSBox Turbo and we'll see there that it's mounting the, uh, the SD card and there we go. If we go into landscape mode, we see the opening uh, little cinematic for Master of Orion. We can skip through that and we have our game and uh, as I said before we have absolute mouse tracking so right where I click is where the mouse will click on the screen and I can start a game with no problem very neat alright so that is using DOSBox Turbo to run DOSBox games on your Android device well we may need to play around a little with uh, the different settings for each game and the different types of games that we might want to play uh, the procedure is relatively straightforward and uh, will usually be pretty similar to this. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, comment, uh, like, and subscribe to our channel, and also check out the description of this video to see uh, a link to the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks for setting up DOSBox. Well, until next time, bye.